Welcome back to another Hungry Cuban Adventure maintenance video, uh, repair video. I don't know what we want to call it, but it's uh, it's one of those. Uh, we've had uh, some problems now with our kitchen sinks uh, draining really, really slowly. Uh, we put chemicals down there to try to unclog it. Uh, that doesn't help. Uh, we've tried all kinds of things, but it keeps backing up. Did some research online and uh, also looked on our uh, uh, Tiffin owner's uh, Facebook page. And what a lot of people are saying is the HEP VO valve that's in there. It's a valve that replaces the uh, P-trap and it's supposed to give you more room. But unfortunately in the kitchen where we have some food particles and grease and stuff like that going down, the HEP VO valve tends to uh, back up and uh, build up. Uh, this unit was built in 2014, so it's got a couple years on it. So I'm gonna have to replace that and I'm going to replace it with Snappy trap, yes. Snappy, I just like saying that. Snappy, snappy trap. We're gonna replace it with a snappy trap. I like to be able to keep the uh, HEP VO valve, but unfortunately if it keeps backing up, it gets pretty gross looking, we're gonna change it with the snappy trap. Snappy trap. Tiffin, I don't know why you did this. Unfortunately, these slides do not have the black clips that you pull up and pull down to slide the drawer out so you can work in here and work on the plumbing. Tiffin, why did you do this? Why did you not put some slides in here that would have clips so I could remove this huge drawer so I can do on some plumbing work? I don't know, but let's try to figure this out. On normal slides, you had these little black clips that you push in and the whole drawer comes out. But for some reason, I have no idea why, the heavy duty slides that we have down here on this drawer do not have any of those clips. Therefore, that means I have to unscrew the screws from underneath the cabinet or from inside the cabinet. Well, needless to say, it's really, really hard to get inside. So here's what we're gonna do. So unfortunately, this is a tight squeeze. I can't get my drill underneath here to take these screws out. So you're gonna have to have a flexible drill bit extension. These things work great, especially when you have an RV and you have a lot of tight quarters. And then you're gonna need a square drill bit. So let's remove this drawer. So our big drawer has another drawer that comes right out of here. I was able to remove that. It has the clips on it to be able to do it. But for the big cabinet down here, there is no clips. So I want to show you something. It's a little gross, be prepared for this, but this is what happens when that valve is not working properly and things back up. This is just the piping coming from the sinks. Check this out. In a minute, as soon as I pull that HEPO V, the HEP VO valve out, I'm going to show you what that looks like. So as I started taking this out, I noticed that my drain pipe was a little loose here. So I'm gonna go ahead and strap it in and give it some good stability. Hep the old valve. And this was looks like. That's the intake. And here's the drain. But you can imagine, food, grease, and everything that comes through here just gets stuck right there. So, 
be great to have this, but I have plenty of room underneath my cabinet that I'm able to put the, uh, the other piping. Never fails, there's always modifications. So I wish I could have filmed this whole thing, the install process, but as you can see, it's tight quarters. But we removed the HEPO V, the HEP VO valve, which used to sit right here. And we replaced it with Snappy Trap. The advantages of having a uh, HEP VO valve is that you do not need a P-trap. I had to do a little modification, as you saw earlier. I had to cut that pipe in the back. And my cabinet fits, no problem at all. Now I did tell you there was a problem with the cabinet rails where there's no release on the side for the cabinet to come out. And the only way to take it off is to actually go underneath the cabinet and unscrew the screws. And there's not much room between the floor and that cabinet. It's only about six inches. I did some research and this is a custom made cabinet rail. I looked around for bottom screw type rail and they don't make them. They don't make them all. The lady told me at the store that that is a custom made piece. Just like Tiffin does, they make everything custom and it's all what they make for their own units. So it is what it is. I guess every time I have to do plumbing and I hope it's not very often, uh, I'm gonna have to unscrew that cabinet. And uh, it's not fun, but you do what you gotta do as long as I have my flexible drill bit extension. I guess I'm fine. Just a little more work, but I hope I don't have to do a lot of plumbing work. modifications there's a couple things that you should do and everybody should do if you have an RV in all your drains you should be adding the stainless steel mesh screens they're going to collect a lot of stuff that you can dump before it gets into your pipes and into your tank we also went ahead and did it in our sinks I've actually noticed on our side we have double sinks in our side where I shave on a daily basis my side tends to clog up a lot quicker. I've removed the sink plunger and uh, I've added a also a screen mesh there so it collects most of the stuff before it goes down into the uh, piping. And if for some reason I need to fill up the sink, uh, which my wife does quite a bit when she's washing some stuff in here, is we have the rubber stoppers and we just remove the screen and put the rubber stopper right inside. We also removed it from our shower. I took out the screw, removed the plate, and got a screen right in here. This specifically, this one catches a lot, a lot of hair. I'm really happy with the snappy trap. I'm glad I was able to uh, replace the uh, HEP VO valve. As you can tell, it's pretty nasty in there. And after time, they just go bad. Um, so instead of replacing it with another one of these and having the same problem again, I decided to go ahead and use the snappy trap. Only because it's quick, it's easy, it's your, it's your typical P-trap uh, that you have on any sink and uh, it still gave me the space so I can put my cabinet back in there, my, excuse me, my uh, drawer back in that, which we use on a regular basis. And uh, I'm glad I had to do some modifications. This is where the um, HEPO valve went. And these are from the sinks and it went back out so you don't need a p-trap but with this removed the new one has a p-trap on it so i had to cut i had to do some modifications but never fails so i hope uh this was helpful for you if you have a tiffin and you've been having problems with your sink getting clogged up especially the uh, kitchen sink uh probably the biggest problem is going to be this the hepo valve hep vo valve and uh they're great it's a great system but they just go after a while and uh, I don't want to be doing this again. Uh, but if you like this video, this is kind of video, please go ahead and subscribe to my channel and uh, hit that uh, bell so you get notified whenever we have a new video out. Uh, we do all kinds of food, travel, and RV experience type videos. So glad you're here, glad you watch it through the end, and uh, I hope this has been helpful to you. Have a great day. Bye.